March has been officially designated by MENC, the National Association for Music Education, for the observance of music in our schools month. This is the time of year when music education becomes the focus of schools across the nation. Music in our schools month began as a single statewide celebration in 1973 and has grown over the decades to encompass a day, then a week, and then in 1985 to become a month-long celebration of schools music. The purpose of Music in Our Schools Month is to raise awareness of the importance of music education for all children and to remind citizens that school is where all children should have access to music. The celebration continues to grow each year, reaching more and more students, teachers, musicians, and music supporters. Schools and communities throughout the country and overseas celebrate Music in Our Schools Month with concerts and other activities based on this year's theme. Classrooms, concert halls, civic buildings, clubs, parks, libraries, and shopping malls are just some of the arenas in which the public can observe the process and results of music education. The theme for this year's 31st anniversary celebration of Music in Our Schools Month is Music Inspires. Young people everywhere that are in music education classes are singing, playing musical instruments, and listening to music. This helps them to develop their creativity, to learn self-discipline and teamwork, to increase their sense of self-worth, and to learn to live in a global society. Studying music provides benefits for a lifetime. We greatly appreciate your attendance at tonight's concert as we join in the national celebration of Music in Our Schools Month. At this time, I'd like to pass the microphone over to Mrs. Sexton. Good evening, and welcome to the Music in Your Schools concert. Before you is the sixth grade band. They have been playing instruments for approximately six months. They meet every other day. If you high schoolers remember the AB schedule, um, seventh and eighth grade are still living that themselves. Um, they have been working very hard. Mrs. Piasecki and I are very fortunate to team teach both sixth grade and seventh grade. This is a crucial time in the beginning process of becoming an instrumentalist, and so we feel very fortunate to still be able to do that. Um, the first piece that our sixth grade band is going to perform is called Stonewood by Paul Kernow. And the program notes describe that high in the Sierra Nevada mountains, in an unbelievable setting of beauty and majesty, is the Stonewood Monument. This monument is meant to honor the courage and hardship of the early settlers who came to this part of our country seeking a new life of freedom. Their adventure opened the western region of our country, and now ensuing generations enjoy the magnificent high peaks, rushing rivers, and scenic vistas surrounding the stately Stonewood Monument. We hope you enjoy Stonewood. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Our second selection is a piece called Eagle Ridge by Mark Williams. It is an energetic piece and completely different from the fanfare style of the last piece. I uh, typically used to call this Eagle River, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, jokingly, but it's, it's called Eagle Ridge. And percussion, are we good to go yet? Or? Are you good? No? Okay. Just a moment, we just need to lower a snare drum to the right size of the player, so just a moment, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
composer with over 50 pieces published, Timber Ridge Overture. Our final piece that we will be performing is two Celtic folk songs arranged by Paul Lavender. This is a combination of two contrasting Irish folk songs, The Maids of Morn Shore and The Star of...
County Down. Thank you. Bridges of our country. We hope you enjoy Bridgeview.
Final selections this evening is called Fanfare for the Third Planet by Richard Sosedo. This piece was commissioned in 2004 by the Keller Independent School District in Texas. Question for the audience, who knows what planet is the third planet? Jacob. Earth or Mars are the, are the two up for grabs. What is it? Earth. Earth! Absolutely! Absolutely. Good job. Good job. We hope you enjoy our final selection of the 8th grade band, Fanfare for the Third Planet.
about ready for our second tune. Uh, we couldn't pull off this concert without a wonderful and incredible and volunteer stage crew. So those of you on stage crew, would you please stand up? Those of you in percussion, raise your hand. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you very much. Very much appreciate it. All right, our second and final selection this evening is Africa, Ceremony, Song, and Ritual by Robert W. Smith. This piece is based on the primitive folk music of Western Africa. African musicians feel that they bring life to their instrument just as God bring, gives life to the musician. As a result, individual instruments are believed to possess consciousness and are treated with the same respect and reverence given to an honored living person. The drum, the featured section in this work, is considered a sacred object as well as a musical instrument. 
It is believed to be endowed with a mysterious power, which is incomprehensible to the many missionaries and early travelers on the African continent.
Thank you very much, everyone. We are going to bring our, all of our students up to the stage. And um, while we do that, we have some band, high school band volunteers. Our first selection, combined selection this evening, featuring all of the band students from the school district of Rhinelander, is on Wisconsin. who participated in solo and ensemble this year, which uh, happened this February 20th at Merrill High School, all day on Saturday. So it was uh, open to 7th through 12th grade. So if you participated, uh, those of you that are standing, raise your hand, and those of you that are sitting, stand up if you went to solo and ensemble this year. <laughs> performed a class A and qualified for state, please remain standing or put your hand up. Thank you. Thank you. It's the individual work of these students. This, this is all done outside of the rehearsal time. The solo and ensemble work that allows us to do the music we do in band because they're very strong musicians. So thank you parents for all of your encouragement and your support in getting these kids to these rehearsals before and after school and encouraging them to practice and coming to solo ensemble and cheering them on. All those things strengthen our program and, and um, Make it what it is, and we are just absolutely, on behalf of Mrs. Sexton and I, absolutely thrilled with what's happening here in the music department at Rhinelander. So thank you, parents, for making that um, happen for us. Yes, very much. Our final selection, Sounds of Sousa. <laughs> Thank you. 
this evening. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll um, release the front people to go back. <laughs> We're going to just kind of gradually get them out, but thank you all. You can meet them right back in the comments. Thank you all for coming this evening. Trumpets. Help me, help me out.